Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a really quick page in my Traveler's Notebook using the Weekend Vibes Digital Kit from Veronica Creates. This kit's super cute. It comes with all sorts of cards and ephemera, but the first thing I'm going to do is turn this 3x4 card into a Traveler's Notebook sized page, and I'm going to show you how I did that in Photoshop. So I just opened the PNG file of the 3x4 card that I want and the first thing that I want to do is just alter the size of this. So I want it to be four and a quarter inches wide and I'm just going to delete the height because I really just want to, um, I, all I want to do is make sure that I'm making this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to adjust that so that it's the full height of the card and hit enter and that's going to make it a little bit bigger. Now I want to um, adjust the canvas size and <laughs> turn it all I, I usually do this um, just with shortcuts. So canvas size, I want it to go from the top to the bottom and I want the height to be eight and a quarter inches. So this is my um, the size of my traveler's notebook page. And now all I need to do is kind of fill in the bottom portion here. And I'm just going to do that with my marquee tool. So basically I'm going to, I don't want to select any of this top piece. I'm just going to select all of the lines here. I'm going to hit control C for copy and control V for paste. And now I have a very readily um, manipulated piece. So the only issue that I have is this kind of line in the bottom. I just line things up by kind of going like reducing the opacity on my top layer so I can see the layer underneath and I just want to move the um, just want to move the lines until they're on top of each other like so and then I can whip that back up to 100 and I just want to fill in this little gap at the bottom here. I'm going to fill it in with the same color uh, green as the rest of the card. So I'm going to go to my bottom layer, get my paint bucket tool. I'm going to hold down the option key so I get my eyedropper or you can click on your palette here to get that same color green fill in the background and that is how easy it is to turn this 3x4 card into a traveler's notebook size page. Now, obviously at the time that I did this, I didn't um, I didn't know what I was gonna make with it, so I didn't fill in any journaling, but you could definitely do that now with the type tool. Um, select your text box and go ahead and digitally put your journaling in. Um, I did mine by hand on my typewriter. Either way works perfectly, and all you need to do is go ahead and print it. Super simple. So I've got my Traveler's Notebook page there. I've gone ahead and like typed my journaling in. I did the same thing to another one of the journal cards and then I had this little piece, um, my print on A4 paper and so I had this little piece left over. So I did the same thing to this pattern paper journal card just to make a little strip of color that I could add to my spread as well. You can see here I'm going straight into just sticking stuff down. Now the weekend uh, that I'm documenting here was actually a three-day weekend, a holiday weekend we had here not long ago. In fact, it was the same weekend that this kit was released, so it was sort of perfect. Uh, I had gone ahead and printed out a bunch, well, I printed out everything, to be honest. All of the um, little die cut pieces, my favorite, the labels, all those bits and pieces. And as I was printing them, it was kind of like, uh, kismet really how much of this stuff I actually did on these this one three-day weekend so I made a little grid of photos there probably are repeats of these photos um, in my project life and I know that I've told another Traveler's Notebook story about the the photo of Shane playing video games um, so I didn't mind making these photos a little bit smaller making them into a little bit more of a kind of visual element this week three by two grid um, and again I just did that in Photoshop.
So I'm layering up a whole bunch of bits and pieces, trying to kind of spread these colors around. Uh, what I wanted to do was to kind of get an assortment of, I'm going to call them icons, um, of some of the things that we did during the weekend. And I want to create three kind of real clusters. Now I got a bit infuriated with everything moving around. So I'm just going to go ahead and start like sticking stuff down. I'm not going to worry too much about um planning it out I'm just gonna stick it down and hope it works which I think it does you'll you'll see in the end uh, I had a bit of space at the bottom of my kind of journaling page there I wasn't worried about that at the time because I knew I would be able to fill it up with uh, some of these bits and pieces and so to create my visual triangle I'm gonna use that as one visual element and then create two more clusters in here as well so I'm gonna create them around the kind of uh, bottom left and top right corner of my photo there uh, and just trying to get a mixture of the icons and some of these other kind of more uh, sentiment based ones. So I've got a little coffee pot and pancakes. Um, I've got my headphones because I did a whole bunch of catch up listening to my podcasts. Um, there's the game controller for Shane. So a whole bunch of stuff. There was even more, but to be honest, you can only fit so much on one page. So I'll definitely be able to use all the little bits and pieces that I have um, already printed on a different page, that's for sure. Especially some of these more kind of like um, sentiment ones. These are really, really fun to use too because I can cut them apart and kind of tuck them in and use them as little bits of like layering pieces. So some of them I'm adding on top of my photo and some of them I'm tucking underneath. I kind of like that layering look. I had to put my little pile of books in there, even though there isn't a photo of me reading. There was a, a whole lot of time spent reading um, on this particular weekend as well. Now I felt like the clusters were getting like quite big and I kind of wanted to balance things out a little bit. So I did add like one little label piece up on the top here. It's very, very teeny tiny little kind of page flag. Um, and I'm gonna add a couple more bits and pieces to this cluster down the bottom. Then I'm gonna go and dig into my stash and see if I can find some more kind of three dimensional embellishments to just add a little bit of uh, realness to the page. Sometimes when I'm using digitals, I like to add kind of other bits and pieces. Most often I use stitching, but you can see I've just gone ahead and like stuck everything down on this page. So I didn't have a chance to kind of add any stitching into it. So I'm gonna add some puffy stickers and some little dimensional pearls in here as well. Uh, I felt like there was like a really big white gap down the side there on the kind of bottom right hand corner of my photo. So I just tucked another one of those labels in there and then I'm adding some puffy stickers from Citrus Twist. I actually pulled them out because I thought that I would use some of the little puffy hearts, which I am. Um, but I really liked three of those stickers to the circle stickers. So I decided to add them into, they kind of tie together the visual elements just a little bit better. And it was surprising how well the colors worked actually. So then I've got my little, uh, my little pearls. This particular notebook is getting pretty chunky, so I don't mind adding a little bit of extra chunk in there. Just makes it all the more fun. Hey, if you love this kit as much as I do, I will leave the link for you in the description box. It's super fun, and it gave me a great excuse to document my weekend. Hey, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye!